So I was looking at my new tank of resin and realized, hey, you know what? Maybe it's time we visit one of these dungeons out here. Welcome to the mischief. I'm Valen, and this is Rustic Waters 2. So I think I'm somewhat prepared, or at least lightly prepared. I mean, I've got some enchanted weapons, nothing really fantastic on here. I've got, what, Reaper 2 and Sharpness 1, and a few protection and chance on some of these things. Um, I'm probably going to lose all of my, excuse me, of my, uh, <laughs> my XP because I'm probably going to die. Uh, but I figure, you know what, there's a whole bunch of uh, Ars Magica stuff that I wanted to get into. But I also am wondering if I'm going to run into more things in the process because when I uh, went through all the different runes, I just right clicked them and the book that I had picked these up. And so now I can make all these different spells. So I've got like the standard magic missile. I've got break range. Uh, I've got a water breathing spell, which is actually really nice. Um, then I've got one that I can extinguish myself or others. Uh, right now, I think it's set for projectile and conjure water. So I could actually put water out in the world or extinguish perhaps one of my puppers that might be on fire. Then I've got a self shield. It doesn't last very long. It's it's maybe like 20 seconds or 30 seconds or something like that, but it's it's not bad. And I've got a bunch of other things in here as well. I was thinking getting some enchantments and some trinkets, but you know, maybe I'll find these things already uh, out in some of these dungeons. So yeah, I think it's it's that time that we get going. And here we are at the ice dungeon. I'm kind of looking forward to this, but at the same time, I'm very scared that things are going to go poorly. <laughs> so let's hope for the best. This is glowstone. Chiseled glowstone. I wonder, can I even... Oh, I can harvest this. Uh, what if I grab my silk touch pick here and use that real quick then i can grab all of this and as luck would have it there's already an explorer's stash here great uh and we're now pouring water down below oh there's mobs that are throwing snowballs that's unexpected okay so i filled these things back in so that water isn't flooding down below anymore That's a little better, and I see what looks like some kind of tentacle sticking through this door. I don't... I don't like what I'm seeing here. What the heck are those things? Oh my gosh. Alien zombies? Are you kidding me? A spawner. Okay, well, let me get a bunch of torches in here. Okay, that's a start, and I think that the, it stopped them from spawning, uh, which is fine with me. Uh, maybe I'll need these in the future. Mob frozen zombie. Interesting. All I got was like one Inferium from them. Oh, and I'm seeing ice particles from this. This must be that zombie that was throwing snow, snow globes at me. You know what? Let's bring out uh, some reinforcements here in the form of... Bring out Zoe. Yep, I made her big. Hello. How are you doing? I think it's time that we try and see if this works. I don't even know if I can fit through a door. I don't think I can. That's right, I think... Oh, I can't even mine these blocks. Well, let's see how we do with the joust. Ow. 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 Yeah, okay. Getting through the door is not going to work. <laughs> I don't even know if Zoe can fit through. And these are those zombies there. Yeah, Zoe, you're not you're not having a good time of this, are you? Can I chop that door? All right, I think it's time to bring in some smaller pups that might be able to handle this. Maybe. I guess we'll find out. We're bringing Lilu and Connor Puck. They're both going to be helping us out. They're both set to aggressive, um, and I think Connor is more fireproof and Lilu is more damage oriented. So let's see what we can do with this. Can I fit through this door now? I can. Nice. Oh, and I see a, a, a dude over here. He just cast... Whoa! Gosh! I'm glad that they're all dying. <laughs> I think I ended up shooting the one from a distance, and I'm fine with the rest of them suffocating. Yeah, illusioner mobs. Not a fan. Not a fan at all. Ow! 
The darkness effects are not not nice. Get get dead. So the our pups, I don't my pups I don't think are actually attacking anything unless I attack them first. So it's probably good that I get some hits on these guys. Oh there's a lot of stuff going on right now. And I'm not a fan of it. But I think the pups pretty much took care of anything left. Oh, there's some items here. This darkness effect is is unpleasant at best. Okay. Oh, this is... You know what? Maybe I should silk touch these. Let's grab my silk touch pick. And there's a creeper spawner up there as well. Okay. Well, I see more mobs ready and raring to die. Oh my gosh. There are so many of them in there. <laughs> Ow! Ow! Oh my gosh. There's invisible mobs as well. I think it's a good start. I don't... Oh! You need to die, please, and thank you. Oh! Creeper! Ow! Oh gosh! The pup that I'm on... To stay. You guys are all taking some hits. You're still doing okay. Where, where's Zoe? You still back in the other room? Oh, that that light effect. I don't know where Zoe is. I mean, I'm on I'm on Connor's back right now. She might be in that next room. Yep, she is. She's in there right now. <laughs> Get him! I think the pups are doing most of the work here. Nope. 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 Ow. There's just too too much trouble going on with these creepers, I tell you what. I don't want them to blow up near the pups. Okay, and lights, please. Lights. <laughs> okay, and that takes care of most of these ones. All right, now, everybody still okay? You still got plenty of hearts. You still got plenty of hearts. You still got plenty, plenty of hearts. All right. Apparently, mobs can spawn in midair as well. Uh, I'm finding that I need to light up higher <laughs> to stop that from happening too. So <laughs> there we go. That's a little bit better. Oof. Okay. Way too many creepers and things. Thank you, Lilu. Uh, there's too many, too many mobs. Ah! They're even spawning in here now. Okay. Seriously, you need to stop. Stop that. You too. Get dead. And I see a bunch of you over there. Yeah, you need to die too. So do you. Ranged attacks for the win, especially when they don't see me. <laughs> Let's put some lights on. Oh my gosh, this was pretty harsh. Oh wow, okay. No, Creeper, no. No, no, no. No. Good job, Lilu. Thank you. Okay, so... <laughs> these Creepers are what's really doing all the damage to, to the pups and myself right now. There's just so many. And these alien things are just creepy as heck. Oh, apparently these guys have been spawning for some time. I should just turn you guys on a different mode to just kill everything, but I don't I don't think I actually brought a stick with me. <laughs> so I can't do it. <laughs> Not without leaving and coming back again, but that's fine. This wind caller guy, huh? You don't seem to be bothered by me at all. Are you guys neutral? Okay. I'll take neutral mobs. Oh, does this go down? It goes downstairs. And I'm almost out of torches. This isn't good. All right, let's let's go, Connor. We're gonna we're gonna continue on this path. Um, and I'm hearing lots of growling down there. I I don't think I don't think it's anything nice. I have two torches left, and I don't have a light spell <laughs> with this for some reason. But let's see where where this leads us into a lot more darkness. Okay, well maybe. I go get some more torches, Zoe. What do you think? Okay, I'm back and I'm fully equipped with many more torches. I also set the pups to fully berserker mode. 
There we go. And then let's just separate these two so I can get a mount. Come on, let's. There we go. Uh, looks like I'm on Lilu. No, I want to be on Connor, please. There we go. And now we light things up a bit as we progress. And it looks like there's a Wilden. What are you doing down here? Oh! There we go. Taken care of. The pups are... I'm a much better pup summoner than you are. Sorry, Wilden. All right, girls. You ready? Connor, you ready? Let's do this. Get dead. Undead? No. Oh, and there's blitzes. There's that... That was a blizz. Oh, shoot. Okay. Let's just kill that thing. Uh, that would be good for certain resources. Uh... For now, this snow is not helping things. Was that a ghast? Um, I'm a little bit concerned now that I'm going to run into ghasts. I uh, didn't think that there'd be enough space in here for something like that. It would seem we've got more more incoming puppers. And what is... What? There's a dispenser with hunger potions. Okay, that's great. What was that? Um, I feel like, and I'm hearing ghasts. Whoa, how deep does this place go? Oh my gosh. Get him. Good job, Lilu. Good job. All right. Let me, what? Gosh, this is creeping me out like nobody's business. <laughs> okay, there's more of those waterlogged stairs. I don't like this. So I'm going to have to, hey, stop spawning down there, would you? I need to put down some torches in here. Oh god, okay, that's not good. There's something coming up. Oh god, what was that? Thank you, Lilu. Um, let me uh, pick up the water, put it away. We'll mine these blocks up and then we'll go We'll go in because I think I've, I've cleared all the stairs. All right, everybody, you ready? Let's do this. Those are, oh my, oh my. What the heck? <laughs> this is a drowned necromancer thing? Oh gosh. Connor? Look out. Oh, I can't move. Okay, I am no longer on a pup. Um, this isn't good. Lilu, you okay? I have an idea. <laughs> but I need you pups to stay back. I grab you. And you, and I don't know what happened to Connor Pug. He may have expired and I might need to call him back to his back to his bed, but either way. I have holy hand grenades. That's an armored drowned. I think I could just take that guy out. Oh die, just die, okay. You need to die too. Please. All of you things just just die. What's with what's with the weird fire? Oh, wraith fire. No, lots of things are dying. Oh, oh, it's one of those uh, <laughs> those uh, guys that are outside and they're summoning this um, their their little protective walls, barriers, whatever you want to call it. Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah, these weird walls keep getting spawned around me, and I think that these are what's, like, injuring my pups. So it's probably a good thing that they're not out right now, because they just keep getting spawned around me, like, almost constantly. There's a serious bad guy nearby that just needs to die here. I'm glad I've got my sil silver weapons for some of these undead mobs, though. And this kind of scares me. I see some kind of name tag down here. It says Knight of the Grail. Uh, I'm a bit concerned about that. I guess it's a question of, is it like a Monty Python Knight of the Grail? You know, like Knight of the Grail? Or is this something a bit more spooky and sinister? Right, that lightning spell, seriously, needs to stop. It, no, you all need to stop with the lightning. Just stop it right now. Knight of the Grail. I'll see about trying to save you, but there's a lot of dudes down here. 
Okay, all right. I, I think I can just pick these guys off from a distance at this rate. All right, dude. How you doing? I see that there are three grails to choose from up here. And uh, I've cleared out the room. I've fought all the dudes. What what What's going on? This is the altar of grails. Treasure and challenge away to you. Choose a cup to drink from, but choose wisely, traveler. That That's all you have to say? The icy jeweled goblet, the icy mundane tankard, or the icy steel pokel? P pockel? I don't even know what that is. Oh, and they're all filled. Icy, icy, or icy. They're all icy. Well, we are in a, a frozen thing here. Oh, I don't know. The mundane tankard, the icy jeweled goblet, or the icy steel pockel. You know, I'll go for... Oh, you know, you know, I I watch the Indiana Jones movies, and and it's good to go for like the cheap one. So, you have chosen the mundane tankard. Your treasure and challenge will equal your humility. Lesser rewards, self healing effect. Oh my God, what the? F oh, wasn't expecting to suddenly be tra teleported into this. Okay. No, no, no. Leave me alone. I don't want. No, no. Uh, I think the entire room got trans. Yeah, the entire level just got teleported into something else. Okay, he's not happy camper, and neither am I. <laughs> he doesn't seem to care that I'm here, which, which can be beneficial. There we go. Let's uh, get those guys out of there. I, uh, man, I'm like slowed. I had some kind of slowness effect going on. That was not nice. Stop casting. That's my job. So this, this frost maw is supposed to be my target? I'm not sure. Either way, it seems to be stuck behind this tree. And I, I feel like that's kind of cheaty if I'm to just like poke it in the backside while it's just kind of like AI bugged out. Oh boy. Oh, oh. It seems to have woken up a bit. Hi. Oh, good. Okay. Okay, that hurt. Well, let's try fighting you. You seem to be susceptible to damage from laser beams. Uh, how are you versus... You've got a really big hitbox. Oh, and I need to eat some food. You don't like being attacked. I get that. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're almost down. Gotcha. Aw. Hey. This is just like Legend of Zelda, sort of like where he like drops the key and and stuff. What did I get? I got uh, a hateful heart and a treasure chest key opens a treasure chest. I wonder which treasure chest that could be. And would you stop spawning? Get out of here. There's a spawner up there. Duck on it. Ow. Oh, freaking thing. <laughs> Dropping ice cubes on my head. Okay, key time. You receive a legendary explorer's cache. So I got a conqueror's boss cache, honored explorer's cache, and a mediocre explorer's cache. I got a bunch of these, plus all the regular loot that I like picked up along the way. This has been quite an adventure. You need to stop spawning. Ow, and stop hitting me with ice cubes. Now to try and get up and out of here. I wonder if I can actually break. I still can't break these hard ice cube tiles. Oh, there's snow blocks, though. Hey, and that leads outside. All right, let's do that. And there we go. Our first dungeon has been completed. There's an ice dungeon, which I think is the easiest of them. There's a jungle one over there as well. Uh, but I think I might head back to home. Let's jump in our sea moth here as the sun sets and go uh, check out the loot that we got. My armor and weapons took a pretty good hit. So if I were to have died, they would have taken another bigger hit than that as well. But, you know, let's just take my time in a bottle here. I've got 4145 on there. And just crank it out. And you can watch how quick this stuff then <laughs> repairs for a time. And it, it still says 4041. It's kind of weird. 
Uh, did I just use an hour of it? I don't know. But either way, all this stuff is fully repaired and I'm good to go again. And there's Connor. Just by clicking on the bed, he did respawn. So yeah, the, those, those were just some wave whispers that were outside that were constantly casting those walls on me. I think it were the death of him. Uh, yeah, so that was very sad. So, But he, he's here, and he's all better now, so this is good. And I've got the other two still in their, their little uh, doggy canisters. There's Zoe and Lilu, which I think I'm going to shrink Zoe back down to normal size as well, just because it's a little bit awkward uh, for them to, to do this, to, to fit through doors when they're actually that big. But enough about messing around with the pups. Let's open up the biggest loot crate first because I'm a sucker for that kind of stuff. I got an anvil pet, elite compressing factory, and a radiant stab. All right, the anvil pet is amazing because damaged items get repaired and you can also summon, <laughs> summon other ones just with the right click. <laughs> Whoa, bye. And they will actually attempt to, to injure nearby <laughs> enemies as well. But you need to keep these things fed with, uh, what is it, iron nuggets? Which I, I think I can manage that. <laughs> nice. Uh, but having it automatically repair my stuff as well is nice. Slowly auto repairs. An elite compressing factory. Radiant Stab, a single target spell that projects pure animosity at your foe. That is a specific item. I've never used this before. Wow, it, it looks really cool. Do it, is it a right click? Amplify appears too many times. I have no idea if I can even use this yet. It requires tier one and tier two stuff from an enchanting apparatus. Can be inscribed with the spell at the scribes table. Okay, so I need to inscribe this, but at least I don't need to spend the materials for it. That's kind of cool too. And the other things we get, ooh, an empowered sluice. Crafting storage, prosperity ingots, food, money. Got some food and some daggers, some llama seeds, okay. Storage cells, botany pots, just a bunch of random stuff that's kind of cool. And the uh, the mediocre stuff, I don't think that I'm going to go through that because that, that's not too much at all. But there you have it, another episode of uh, some craziness. I think this was a lot of fun. I, I really enjoyed the dungeoning uh, bit. I think I might do a bunch more of that, at least of the frozen ones, so that uh, I can get more loot, and then we guys can catch up, and we'll see how things go next time. So if you enjoyed this, please be sure to give a like, comment, subscribe, and as always, be sure to come visit The Mischief on Twitch. We stream quite regularly. Don't be afraid to click that notification bell. And until next time, folks, I'll see ya.